We're gonna start the truck and let it run for about three to five minutes just to let the oil warm up. Let's get into the items we'll be using today. These cardboard sheets you see here, you can get them at Costco for free. So these are basically the cardboard sheets that they have on the pallets. And as workers go cleaning the aisles up, they'll basically just take these off and they'll tuck them between the aisles. So if you're in Costco, you can just grab these, walk out with them, or um, while you're shopping at the end, you just tell them they're for an oil change. They're not gonna say anything because you're basically doing, doing them a favor. Next, we're gonna have the SAE 15W40 engine oil. This was at Costco for a bit. I don't know if they still have it. They might have it online. There's the item number. And this is a total of three gallons. Just pretty good for the price. I think it's about um, it was a little under thirty dollars in store. I'm using a sixteen quart oil catch pan. The truck's gonna empty out about ten quarts, so just make sure you have sufficient space. And again, it's about ten quarts for the truck. This is sixteen, so I should be fine. We're gonna be using the AC Delco filter. Here is the item number. Then, if you need the serial number or the barcode number there it is we are using a 13 millimeter socket and our ratchet to remove the oil drain plug I'm using a short funnel this isn't the best funnel uh, so it's gonna take me a little longer this oil filter removal tool is optional um, I'm just showing it because there is a chance that whoever worked on the truck prior could have tightened it like crazy so just here to have it. So I don't have my truck on any ramps or anything. It's level as it is. I make sure to apply the parking brake. And for my heftier fellas, if you guys need some ramps to get under there, then um, you have some options. But um, in this current video, I don't have any wheel chocks or ramps. It's level on the pavement here. We're gonna start by opening for airflow here. All right, so for me, the easiest way in is right behind the driver's tire. So again, make sure you have your parking brake and then a wheel chalk for extra safety doesn't hurt. But the most space I've noticed is through this area. All right, just up here, we have our engine oil filter on the left. This red filter is going to be our transmission oil filter and yeah, I might be doing a video on the transmission soon, so if you guys want to see that, like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see, what other things you might want to see on the truck. I don't have the most experience, just a disclaimer, but, you know, I'm just going to do these things because it's kind of fun to record and make the content. That said, let's get back to what we're here for. This is a 13 millimeter bolt. This is the engine oil um, drain plug, so I'm going to crack this open. All right, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't have to be on there that tight. The last time I did this oil change, I left it, you know, enough that you could crack it off with like maybe 20 pound feet or something. Um, obviously don't leave it loose either because you can have a spill, but yeah, let me just remove this and just have your catch pen ready. I'm gonna let this drain for about 15 minutes. I'm in no rush by any means. So yeah, we'll be back in 15 minutes and then we will be doing the engine oil filter right after that. Closer look at our drain plug. This isn't your typical flat one. So you're gonna have one of the crush washers fall in there. This is the previous one. This is the previous crush washer. And here's a new one. You can see there that more coarse material is the softer material. That's what I like to have face towards the pan. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this harder side down. See there, has a nice fit. And I don't know the size right now, but I'll link it here. 
to confirm. Want to try to clean as much of this oil up so it doesn't burn when you have the truck running. Again, I know you guys, some of you guys might be sticklers on this, but I'm just gonna hand tighten. I'm just gonna hand torque this to feel until I feel it's secure. Okay, so what I like to do here with the aluminum foil is tuck it just past the filter where it makes contact. So when it starts leaking, it's going to channel down into our oil catch pan here. And you wanna make kind of a little tip here so that the oil concentrates and falls down in this direction. All right, you guys will see right now, let's try to untighten this with just our hand. I just had a little wrestling match with this filter. I ended up using the filter removal tool. Um, it was on there pretty tight. So obviously with temperature and such, it probably seals on there a little more with time. As you can see there, that's gonna keep our frame clean from all of the oil. So. We don't have none of those nasty burn smells. Let's see if the gasket stayed on. Nope, it's all oil, good. Okay, so now that I checked that the gasket is not on there, I'm going to let this drain for maybe two, three minutes. And after, I'm going to clean this with a rag, just so we have a clean contact surface. Um, clean all this inside. Okay, there's our clean contact surface. All right, I'm just getting a tad of the old oil. Okay, so here we have it kind of snug there. So I'm gonna do one, two, add two and a half. So yeah, it's on there pretty snug. It won't be coming off easy. And now we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna fill it and then we'll be looking for any leaks after we fill it. Okay, we have our funnel in. I put a rag here just to cover the um, the alternator so we don't have any splash any overflow go onto the alternator. Let me just show you there so you guys can see how close it is. So I'm just tucking a rag between the two. And again, this 6.6 .6 LML is going to take 10 quarts exactly. That is about nine and a half liters. So keep in mind, we put some in the filter already. Don't worry about that too much. Um, these in particular make it easy. So one US gallon is four quarts. So we're gonna put two and a half. So on our third quart, we are just gonna stop on our th excuse me on our third gallon we're going to stop at the two quart line so that's how we know we have 10 quarts in exactly all right let me proceed with that
starts right at two ports. And here's just a quick look at the particular oil that we are using on this fill. And here is our oil rating. Okay, now that we have our oil fill cap on, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we're gonna use our dipstick to see what, what our oil level is at. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to reset the oil if you don't know already. Turn your key twice, don't turn the truck on. And then just go through your notifications here, clear them. You're gonna get to your center cluster here and I already have it on oil but if you don't just scroll down until you find oil so i'm just gonna go the long way here we're at oil right what we're gonna do is you can see that there is you can see that there's a right arrow there so what you're gonna do here on the steering wheel just press the right arrow and it's gonna tell you if you want to reset press the check on your steering wheel and press yes Okay, now we have 100% oil life remaining. So I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna let it run for about two minutes, let the oil spread out in the engine, and we're gonna see if we have any leaks on the bottom.